The shining light that we bear We're the only ones to make her brighter The only ones to make her better The only ones <laughs> Thank you. 
He has done wonderfully well in government. Thank you, my able and capable governor. It will be a disservice, a disservice too, if I end my address without dropping my heart and my heart to our indefensible commissioner for education, Professor, Professor Kate Omenua, whose office is the instrument through which this educational achievement was made. Her performance and foresight has been comparing. An example here was the innovation and wonderful online approach engaged by Anambra State in teaching her students in Japan during the COVID-19 pandemic, when education in most states in the country we are practically paralyzed. Thank you, my honorable commissioners. We go where I'm going with that. the principal and the members of staff of uh, GTC in Ibuagiri. Thank you so much, ma'am. The government that we call the grassroots developer of education. The NUT National gave you an award most educationally friendly government. Your Excellency, we want to salute you. Um, we want to salute you for the numerous achievements you made in education, Your Excellency. We have Putting up a compendium of the things you've done in education. When the Regina Apache girls went to Silicon Valley and came back with gold, that is a testimony that you feel that promise. When we took our students to Indonesia for the World School Debate Championship, and in the preliminary debates, we beat Barbados, that is global competitiveness. Your Excellency, when we took us to Singapore, and we came first, and as the best team and best speaker, in the first Nigerian Singapore debate championship, that is global competitiveness. Your Excellency, when the children of uh, Alo Science School went to Tunisia and came back with bronze in the International Festival of Engineering and Science, Your Excellency, that is global competitiveness. It's not like first is in our DNA, and Your Excellency. You put that in us. We want to salute you, Your Excellency. We want to salute you especially for this mansion, this edifice that you have here, which we have all over the 12 technical colleges we have in the state. Your Excellency, this is the fourth place we are coming to commission, and we have six more to go. We have eight more to go. It's the fourth place I have eight more to go. Your Excellency, we want to thank you for giving the entrepreneurship spirit in Anambra students to unleash that entrepreneurship spirit. And that was actually unleashed when you, in 2014, when you came in as governor of the state, we found out that none of our technical colleges had accreditation with the National Board of Technical Education. We excellence, we took that up. And now we have about it, eight trade subjects that are fully accredited by the National Board of Technical Education. We excellence, we make sure that Every child, in your blueprint, you get prepared. You say that the learning needs of all must be met through equitable distribution of resources and learning of lifelong skills and ensure we are one of the three top states with the lowest illiteracy rates. Your Excellency, I was speaking to some people from this town and I was asking them, did you get to lobby for this, for this to come to you? That is part of the promise you made that the learning needs of all must be met through equitable distribution of resources. They look at them and hang on me home to get this. You look at it, you know you didn't love it. You, get, you looked at it and saw that this place has potentials. And we are calling on the Nubagadi to unite and make sure that this place, this legacy, is actually kept. That it's not out for one year or two, the whole place will be vandalized. We are calling on you to please make sure that this legacy starts. We are expressing this edifice, you have up to four free um, uh, rooms. They can use for either uh, maybe as their um, not just dormitory but as their uh, refectory. They can use it as a prayer point. They can use it as where they can host, host, uh, host people. It's uh, actually fluid what they can do with it. We have hostels that we have 70, we have 750 capacity, uh, best capacity hostel right here. We have um, a dinner, uh, not a dinner, what do you call it? The, um, the light that is 24 hour light, that is solar. We have it here. 
We have 10,000 capacity um, uh, tank that is here. We have the, the water's room that is here. We have toilets and uh, bathrooms that has, they have constant water supply. If you go to the agency, you see that. So what we are asking the people of Enugu Agri to do is to ensure that they protect this. I mean, it's going to, our hearts are going to bleed if after a year or two, this, this thing becomes a ghost of itself. It's very important that they take ownership. It's very important that the school takes ownership that this place is actually kept. I thank you again, again, for all the things you have. We are, we are doing in education. We are still doing because we are still going to commission. And I hope that when we celebrate your excellency, we can look through the celebration and see people who are proud that you crossed our path. Thank you very much. I'm very happy to be here. You know, to commission this beautiful edifice. Like uh, the commission of education told you, I, we have 12 technical colleges in Anambra. When we came, none of them was accredited in terms of any subject. Today, we have with eight subjects accredited. And if you look around this uh, compound, you see that this edifice stands out. On what on Kenya they are here? Over there? It's what I give them now. On what on Kenya they are here? I'm going to go to the board. I'm going to go to the board. I'm going to go to the board. So I'm very happy. Uh, this uh, hostel ordinarily can take a thousand people, but because of COVID, it can conveniently house 750 people spread out properly. You know, and with four uh, uh, living areas that can be converted to anything by the school. You know, uh, it's, it's a legacy. Uh, okay, Taka, before the full, who also got out and he made compound uh, but we pray that uh, many more will come. Yeah. Because I've seen uh, some type of buildings that, are, that shouldn't be here. In the kind of thing we want to do to technical education. Let me tell you why we, have, uh, why we spend so much money on technical education. Quite honestly, technical education is the way to go. Why? If you come here, you learn how to lay tiles. In, in three years, you do the first uh, test. And you can graduate from that three years and become independent immediately. Tiles, uh, plumbing works, electrical works, and water view. If you want to further, you can do an additional three years, six years on the whole, and get second uh, certification. That helps you to further your technical skills in companies and what have you. Let me tell you how important this is. I'm not going to work. If I had a body, I'm not going to work. 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 What have you? Even I, they are not easy, you know. You have to let them. So we believe that instead of looking for work, we should give our young people basic skills to start life early and not looking for white collar job. It's very important. And that's a plus, plus, plus for this administration. We need our talk. We said we want to see that the education can you. We got with eight of their subjects accredited by the Technical Board of Nigeria in Education. And to also uh, keep our word, we put edifices like this in the 12 technical colleges I went in Anambra State. You know, so uh, just like the commissioner put there with all of you, uh, this place will need maintenance. Uh, by that time, uh, this governor would have gone. Uh, there, there will be a new one who will uh, look into that. But it's important that the people take ownership of this project. 
we have associations, we have town unions, we have you uh, must uh, it will must ensure that somebody in the cabinet comes to this school once in a while, come and toilet and fill an ambassade and do something. You don't have to wait for the governor to do that for you. It's very important. If you do so, this place will uh, bless anywhere in the immensely. Because most of the graduates that will be coming out may be your children, and if they are not your children, they will remember the past way to You know, so it's plus, plus, plus for all of you. You know, on this note, I would like to uh, get to it. When you get happy. Thank you. 